Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Past Teach of Skin. It is great to see you again. We're actually going to try a little bit more of the PlayStation VR. Ryan's willing to survive. One more thing. He's had, had his aftercare after his experience with the kitchen demo, and he said you relax. He's had a couple of beers. We've settled it down, so now we're going to play some sports. Yay, sports. <laughs> yeah, sports. scary about that. Sports ball. Ah, yeah, there's literally nothing scary about this. So <laughs> we can try a little bit of VR ping pong. Uh, VR ping pong, um, it was actually provided to us. The code was provided by the developers. So it's, I'm looking forward to trying this. I haven't been able to play this at all until Ryan brought me a PS Move Controller. So uh, we will be able to play more of those games that I use the Move Controller in the future because of your wonderful contribution, sir. Which I've never even used before. Yeah, that's the point. Nobody uses them at all. Um, like I've, I, in fact, I've got PS3 games that I need to go back and play that I use the Move Controller, but I've never got around to use them. So, um, yeah, do you want to don your PSVR helmet again and bring yourself back into the immersion? Well, I tell more people about the game. I suppose we'll not really need headphones for this one. Well, you don't need headphones for that one, yeah. Pass me the controller, would you, while you're over there? Because I'll bring up Ping Pong and bring up the developer's name and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, Ping Pong Table Tennis Simulator. Now, if you guys have played the Rockstar Table, Tem table Tennis Simulator from back in the day, oh, it yeah. was an amazingly fun well, game. Um, essentially, all it was designed around was being a tech demo to show the body animation for GTA 4, was it, or GTA 5? 4, because it came... Before 4, yeah. It was like 2005, I can't remember. Yeah, so they, it was actually designed to show what the motion capabilities were for actually animating characters and people's movement and stuff. So they actually sent you made a table tennis simulator. I don't think a lot of people took it seriously because it had the name Rockstar and it was table tennis, but it was actually surprisingly. It was a unbelievable. Everybody assumed it was going to be like a, a almost like a, um, a Saints Row style version of table tennis, but nobody actually like, took it seriously. And I was going, I kind of was pulled in by it myself, but I got so much fucking fun out of it. There was so much enjoyment of getting a really good rally in, a, in it because like the music would tone down, get all trancy and stuff, and the room would go dark. So maybe we can get that same experience now in Table Tennis VR Simulator. Maybe, maybe, we, can, maybe we can actually like get the... Wait, are we going to go for a big rally on this? I'm expecting some kind of mad, you know, pre-order day one DLC and get Forrest Gump as his skin. <laughs> That'd be appropriate. Appropriate. So Merge Games, of course, have created the VR ping pong. Uh, let's jump into it and give it a try. Have you got your move controller in hand? Yeah, I just see the light shining in here. I'm looking at, is this a wee bit of condensation or what is that? There's probably a little bit of condensation on the inside of the glass. In fact, is it turned on even at the moment? No. You see, oh, they, well, no. you got controller in That's light. why I'm sort of seeing the light. They're going to light you up then. Oh, go. there we go. Now you can see all the things. Everything pixely. All right, I'm actually going to give you as much space as possible because you could fucking smack me with this thing. <laughs> like you're you're moving enough about during the kitchen demo. I want to take anything that's breakable out of your view. All right, so a simple enough startup. My paddle's over there. Is it? Oh, okay. Oh, but you're not turned on. The controller's not turned on. Uh, press the any button. I'll try the Wii PlayStation button. Lower lower your thumb. Lower down. Press it. Yep, that way you said. Do you know the way indentation where your thumb is right now? Mm -hmm. Press it. That should probably turn on the controller. And then press the X. Uh, press any of the buttons, <laughs> really. There you go. Hey! Yeah. That makes more sense. <laughs> the big laser out of it. Laser ping pong. <laughs> well, that's a light. that allows you to actually check the menu set options. Uh, <laughs> lightsaber uh, ping pong. I like that. How about we look around the arena and see what it looks like, actually? It is an impressive arena. I even like this wee roof, too. Well, that's, that beam sure does go far, doesn't it? <laughs> well, pretty much. Oh, you can actually pointed the guys, look. Oh. <laughs> Laser pointer is distracting them. <laughs> I'm doing a presentation. <laughs> In the so fourth it's, quarter, it's, we'll it's, be able to um, actually get a profit of about 47%. Well, it's not sold out in here, is it, though? Well, I mean, it, the back rows are actually just there, like matte paintings. They're not really there. You know, like in a movie where they're just. It's a painted wall right behind Yeah, them. because I've never seen everyone sit so close and so near together before in a stadium. That's just. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's the reason why it's a it's a movie. They always have to crowd, crowd the people together. Why is the referee got devil horns? Probably because he is the devil. Makes sense. Well, let's jump into the practice or the well. Let's let's go into just a quick game, one game, and give it a try. Do I do anything here or? Yes, you have to press a button. Oh. Actually, yeah, you have to press a trigger to select it. So you can choose easy, medium, or hard. I'm easy here. <laughs> right. So essentially, this is a really simple game. It's not designed to be played multiplayer, which uh, means that this is actually just versus AI. But as a tech demo, it looks pretty impressive. Like, I mean, essentially it follows all motion control with the PlayStation Move controller, rotating either side of the bat. So what's the basic controls? Uh, hold down any button to increase launch power. Ah, right, so it's actually for the launch and the ball. Easy. <laughs> it's telling you easy in the corner. Alright, so let's see. How accurate is it? Oh, I see my ball. Oh, okay. shit. <laughs> oh. No, give me a minute. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 
So, um, a little bit sensitive, you might say? The audience's hands are coming up. <laughs> this is the fact that they're all random animations keyed for them. Are they just bouncing in their head? Oh, do you know what I think? The ma people are made out of ping pong balls. That's why they'll be able to bounce their heads. Everything's a pixel except the ball. <laughs> and the bat. Okay. Yeah, so this doesn't look like it's easy to pick up and play, does it? Right. Press any button when you're ready. Alright, so actually, so the other guy will serve. <laughs> That's not cool. Okay, Alan. I think I got this figured out. No, I don't. So for the sensitivity of the controller, like, see the way it says hold down for longer, hold down and actually see if you can get more, like it'll go higher. Oh, or well, launch like, it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that actually gives you it gives it more time before you can hit it. I like I like to see Andy Murray play this. <laughs> He's like be leaning on the table and then falling forward. What the? Uh, this is pissing me off. Here. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. How is that even possible? <laughs> it hit with the back of the pad paddle and just threw it behind over your shoulder. And then hit the bottom of the paddle. That's what I'm saying. Hold down the trigger for a few seconds and then let go. And then be ready to hit it. Oh. Where did that go? Oh, and over your head. So hold... Alright, well, whenever it's your turn to serve. It seems to actually be like... Really, the velocity is so hard to predict in this. Yep. I'd say that's the case. You know what? I'm proud of that shot. Yeah, that actually was a. Ho that, if this was be say VR baseball, that would have been perfect. Yeah, that one was still in the infield. If this were a cricket game, you know, it's twelve <laughs> points already. What? <laughs> Referee! <laughs> Whoa! I want it over your shoulder. I, I'm, I'm getting pissed off. <laughs> Uh, I, I wouldn't worry about it because I think you're actually finished the set nearly at this point. I can't even get it to bounce off his side. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so yeah, this it looks all right. Okay, all right. Out of VR, out of VR for this. Like I said, you like the you're safe to come out. <laughs> safe to safe to escape. The um, that was weird. Yeah, it's, it's a weird game, but it's actually like it looks really accurate. But the game itself looks like it's actually unbelievably hard to control. That would be a lot easier on the Wii. <sighs> yeah, it would have been a lot easier on the Wii. That's the weird thing. Like, the game itself doesn't look like it actually lends itself to using the move controller. Like, I mean, essentially, if I was able to use the right and left sticks to actually be able to control the amount of power and swing in that, because you were doing very, very tiny swings of that and still getting massive, massive power hits. Okay. Although, admittedly, I don't know what it's like to play real ping pong, because... Well, trust me, I'm not that active. <laughs> you just, you, it's just all that power that you're actually hiding inside those limbs, man. No, I, uh, as much as I like that, I could, I could see my paddle. I could see where I was aiming. It, was it just not, wasn't not. It wasn't representing your actions as well as you would hope. That's a, that's disappointing. I mean, I would love to see more sports games. There's a really good one to play called VR Sports Bar, where you're playing pool and darts and stuff that all use the move controller. And I'm wondering if they've managed to pull off the actual like the. Uh, the actual difficulty, the actual, like, the, the power of actually whenever you're attacking, more than they actually managed to do it in this. VR darts, just chuck the thing. And that's the reason why we have straps. <laughs> I, love, I think it's actually more you have to hold it up, and then you pull the trigger, and then let go of the trigger. So you actually, like, almost like you're lobbing someone. Do you like those little, like, uh, cup and ball things? You're just throwing with one of those rather than anything else. Because that that's meant to represent your hand. That's not the object you're throwing. I do like the idea of a baseball VR. It would be good. Just... <laughs> Yeah, although admittedly I could see people smashing so many screens doing that as well. But yeah, uh, again, guys, this has been the VR ping pong for PSVR on PlayStation 4. I'm not, I, like, I think it looks cute and adorable, a uh, really nice setup, a simple single player game, but that is not. Uh, it, that, could that, have, that, it could have an addictive appeal because you're convinced you're gonna get at least one volley. <laughs> so. Um, I'd say that this game requires a sensitivity meter or a way to turn down the sensitivity on the motion control because that is way, way too high. So I think there needs to be a bit of calibration going on there. I think they should actually probably try and calibrate it before you start playing the game. 
You know, you don't like you said you do a recalibration test before the game starts because that is going to be different for every person playing. For your like, if, like, if you had held that completely still, you wouldn't have got the bounce so back that you needed. You had to actually put some force in behind it, and every single time was going way too far. So not impressed, but also uh, intrigued to see if they could actually improve that. This is the kind of game the guys actually that's the good DLC and fix that with a with a sensitivity patch in some way, shape, or form. So guys, for merge games, I highly recommend having a look at that because. First time experience, that is not enjoyable. That's, that, wasn't, that, that was just a giggle rather than anything else. So thank you very much for watching, guys. If you actually enjoyed our opinions or my opinions and our opinions, your attempt at being able to hit a single point That's and funny. my opinions on VR ping pong, well, then make sure to hit the subscribe button way up over there. If you actually enjoy if you don't do the subscribe button thing, completely understand, and all you have to do is just find past your skin, memorize the name, search for it, go online. I'm not trying to hide. It's easy to find me. And... Uh, Ryan, do you actually have a, a Twitter or a handle or anything you want people to follow? Or you just uh, like to see people to stay I, the fuck I, I, don't have to, I don't even have Snapchat. I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty behind. No, don't I'll worry. Get, you're I'll safe. Get there. You're in a safe place. You're in a safe place. Nobody should actually join these things. It becomes more of a pain than it's worth. Uh, yeah, so Passy is good. If you want to find me on any of the social platforms, any way, shape, or form, you can always catch videos on there or here on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, right, popped over the top of me. There should be a button over there for subscribe. And over the top of my head, there should be a box here saying uh, recent playlists. And over in the far corner, Will be actually the most recent video on the channel and just above my head set about here will be a video for you based on youtube analytics and all the things that you watch on youtube this will be a video that's specifically to your interest so i recommend you watch this one first so thank you very much for watching and i will see all you dudes in the next video bye